Hello artists and welcome back. Today we are once again working in the sculpture studio. After last time having explored with the X and L braces, today we will use what we learned to create four spaces that you can decorate. The materials that you will need today are cardboard, scissors, crayons or markers, glue bottle, glue stick, and a piece of paper. For students at home, you can use cardboard from the boxes you have at home, such as boxes from the mail or food packaging. We recommend using thicker cardboard, such as this one. Optionally, you can also use collage materials, more items from the recycling bin, craft supplies, and even small toys. Today we will be using the techniques that we learned in the Skill Builder to create a sculpture that will allow you to create four different spaces. The first thing we will do is to create a base. You can create a base out of either paper or cardboard. And the base will be what you create your creations on. You want your base to be a little bigger than a small piece of cardboard. Next, we will make the room divider, which will separate the four different spaces. We will do this by taking two large, long pieces of cardboard and making one large X brace. If you have a glue bottle at home, you can glue the X brace down to the base. And to make the large X brace, what you're going to do is take your scissors, try and get down into the middle and cut down a little bit more than half on both of the pieces of cardboard. And then like what we did with the last skill builder, we're going to slot both of them together so that they lay flat just like this. So you have one large X brace which divides your room. And then here's our base and then you put the divider right in the middle. Now that we've created four spaces, your next job will be to decorate and create objects for those spaces. The spaces you create can vary from a bedroom to a store to somewhere outside. You will use the techniques that we learned in the skill builder to create furniture and decorations. Be creative and use your imagination. Here are some ideas for inspiration so that you can plan and create your own special spaces. Here are some of the examples that me and Miss Cutterly made. Let's take a closer look. So here are my four spaces. The first one I made into a tea room with floor mats. I made the table out of two braces, two L braces, and the vase out of an X brace. My second space, I made a bedroom, and the bed is actually made out of two L braces, and then there's a nightstand made out of another L brace. I also use cotton balls for the pillows too. My third space is actually a doctor's office. I layered the sign and made the rest of the decorations out of L braces. I also used marker and crayons to color the floors and walls. And my last room is my fruit room. This one is my favorite. I collaged the table and the walls. I made the table by making an X brace and then gluing on a layer of cardboard. Now let's take a look at Ms. Cutterly's spaces. Her first room is a living room made with magazine pictures and her daughter's dollhouse furniture. Her second space is an art studio made with magazine pictures, cardboard furniture, and small toys. Her third space is a nighttime scene made with marker, a cardboard L brace for a tent, and Lego figurines. And her last space is a sunset made with paint, miniature trees, and a snail made from Sculpey clay. And here we have it, artists. Here are me and Ms. Cutterly's different spaces. 
and all of the different furniture within it. I cannot wait to see what you create. See you next time.